There is need to provide incentives for African investors rather than multinationals. The Pan-African Parliament is set to advocate for legislation in domestic parliaments, making it mandatory to allocate 40% of government procurement to local private investors. Such measures would promote growth and participation of African businesses in the region. Also in November 2022, African Continental Free Trade Area convened Niamey, Niger. Leaders reaffirmed their determination to ensure their Africans' industrialization and economic diversification are financed in a predictable manner and with the urgency of identifying and addressing the impediments to productivity and growth through infrastructure development, energy, access to finance, digitalization, innovation and skills development to achieving economic diversification. Concerns over the slow progress in implementation, various industrialization and development strategies were also discussed during the workshop. African leaders committed to accelerating industrialization, economic diversification and trade on the continent emphasized the importance of ownership in these initiatives. Decisions were made to tackle obstacles related to financing, productivity, infrastructure, energy, access to finance, digitalization, innovation and skills development. African Business Council, ABS, presented a comprehensive business strategy at the workshop. Built upon three pillars, the strategy focuses on strengthening the private sector, including SMEs, women and youth.